Today we are going to be covering how to set up and calibrate a spray booth manometer. A spray booth manometer is a visual gauge for when you need to change your paint booth filters and is a national safety requirement. Failure to have one can result in citations and fines. So it's important to know how to use them and how to keep them calibrated. To install the spray booth manometer, you mount it on the exterior of the booth or nearby and there are two hoses that will come into the unit and you'll notice on as noted here high and low are the two the hoses that will come in. The high hose will plug into a fitting in front of your paint booth filters and the low side of the manometer will be in the exhaust chamber behind your filter bank. The manometer is measuring the resistance of airflow across your paint booth filters and is how we can determine when filters are excessively loaded with paint because the resistance will increase. As you'll notice, with the filters becoming dirty, the gauge will creep up. To calibrate the manometer, you first have to ensure that there's gauge oil in the manometer. There's a fill port here and then the adjustment knob here. When you fill the gauge, it's always good to keep this relatively turned in to start so that you don't overfill it. If you overfill this gauge, you'll oftentimes have to remove it from the wall and then empty out the excessive oil that you put in. By starting with the gauge turned in f as relatively far, you can ensure that if you fill it beyond the zero, you can back it out to get to, to a zero reading. The gauge should be set at zero when the booth is off. This is considered cal uh, calibrated at, at rest. Once you're at rest and your booth manometer is calibrated at zero, you can go ahead and turn on the booth, assuming you have clean filters in the booth. You also want to make sure to set this zero point at the beginning of most days or at least a couple times a week as, the, as it can slowly change over time as gauge oil may evaporate or similar factors contribute to a change in the reading. You have to have your filters clean in your booth and if you do you'll then turn on the booth to get your clean benchmark which is what we refer to as the amount of resistance that this gauge will read when you have brand new clean paint booth filters. You'll see our filters are clean in our booth so we can go ahead and turn the booth on to get our clean benchmark. Now my paint booth is running and you'll see that my resistance on my filters has increased and the spot that that is at would be considered the clean benchmark. Usually you can notify that with a little green arrow or a green mark or even just a simple sharpie mark. Once you have a clean benchmark set you typically will measure about 0.4 of an inch of water column beyond that mark to establish a reference point for a dirty benchmark. So for example, we're just shy of 0.1, so we would come over here to about 0.4 or, and a little bit more for a dirty benchmark being about here. We'd watch our filters and over time as they load up with paint, we'll reach that met benchmark at which point we should clean our filters. While this is a visual gauge that's very effective, you can also look at what we call lazy air in your paint booth as the ultimate deciding factor. If you notice that overspray isn't being properly removed from your booth and is hanging in the air or is hazy in your paint booth during painting, you'll want to consider changing the filters. While this dirty benchmark will serve as a reference point, changing them prior to the filter becoming completely dirty is never going to be a problem. So that's how you set up and calibrate a paint booth manometer.